this is like part of my heritage. It is cool. I thought that was just a picture of you. <laughs> So this is what we've done so far. All these are painted, ready to go in. This is the back of the house. Uh, it was interesting to see before. Right now everything is painted, redone painting. This was a room that both Hans and I had a hard time going through. It uh, stunk so bad, we had a person come in and uh, use an ozonator in here. Just got to fix that up there today. And this is the next room. We have things organized in here. Do that one there. That one up there. It's a different fridge that was brought in. We'll move the handles over to the other side later. Out here, all been repainted to the neutral color. This is all the, this was the master bedroom with all those funky colors. Had to put a crossbar in here for uh, the support, the tap. Yeah, for the taps here. So, and this room is done as well. Got to just paint the front of these here, and then we'll do the, when the flooring comes in, we'll get it in. <sighs> um, what else here? Over here. Bright white. Oh. Bright white is the laundry room. It's just better to have it just open, makes it feel bigger in the room by itself. Well, Sonovia, did you finally get that ignorant drain out of the tub? Hey, way to go, girl. That's been such a pain in her backsides. That was, see that whole, there usually is a T at the bottom of that thing. And this thing has been eaten right to just giving us trouble. Well, this is the ring that goes into the tub. You don't want to put it on top 
If you did that, your water wouldn't drain. What you want to do is slide it. Go. Put that in. You want to make sure it's nicely centered. Wipe it off. Get the putty out. It's a caulking and semen component for a tub. What you want to do is roll it. I know I don't need this much, but and you put it around. Tap. Stuff will squish out on the side, but that's fine. That's what you want it to do. When you put it in, take this, screw it in. This is the tool you usually use to tool that you'd usually use to take it out, but we're missing the crossbars on the bottom of the last one. Find the holes in the side, and then you can give it a turn. Until the screwdriver is snug and tight, there, perfect. Okay. You don't want to over it because you could snap off that T down. We were missing the T in the bottom, so we couldn't take it out. Putty comes out really easy. Throw the excess in the garbage. That's perfectly sealed. So now we can start to go through the doorways, go down the rest of the hallway, uh, then work my way over once I get uh, to a certain point. And then this will we'll take the flooring through. So yeah, this is gonna be fun. Got to make a mess to clean it up, I guess, eh? That's about it. I am uh, marking the height of this uh, brown little dense trims so I can cut them off so I can put the molding up here so that it fits on here on the doorway. So now, Because it was a thin trim before and we're widening it and putting a new trim up there, we are actually going to cut this uh, to this height right here where I have a pencil mark. <clears throat> that on the floor, I'll pick that up later. Then I'll just trim this up. No, we're going to go 29 and a half.
Need it a little bit bigger? No, what I did was half the butter. It's supposed to be a flat cut. So, so we do make. I do make mistakes. Catch the angle on that uh, one for an upside corner. See? Yeah. It's the inside miner. That's what messed me up that I wasn't happy with. Much nicer. This here is my cabinet that was just brought in by the owner. But if you look at the top, you can tell it's leaning. Leaning. So if you see the back of this cabinet, down here, I can stick my finger in. It's supposed to be like that. That straight, but when you do this, this is what happens here, and you can't do anything with it. So that's what's happened with both of these vanities from the same place, brand new out of the box. The bottom is square, perfectly square, but the tops are not setting on at all properly the way they're supposed to be, like I said. But you, you always measure your table saw blade front and back because otherwise you could have different measurements. Now I'll shut that off, hold a piece of wood, and flip it around. And it's because we don't have the room out here. <laughs> we have tons of room, it's just that you're cutting it that way. <laughs>
seven and seven. Eight. No, it could get. That's all right. If it dies, it makes your hair long, that's okay. Yeah, I need to get that. Okay. New toilet, the new vanities in here, new flooring, new overall, oh, new shower head and all that stuff we put in. Cleaned up the tub and stuff. And a very good draw to the over here. Uh, this room, oh, this was the worst room of them all. I puked my nuts out probably five times on this room. But now I can, oh, it smells so nice and very clean. All brand new flooring. Turn lights out on the way. And this one here, man, it's just that from the trim and flooring, and that's about it. Uh, I think we had to touch up the door, fix up the door. Oh, we had to fix up the all the doors. Way. We had to do we all the doors. Wall, just to make them look good. Yeah. We put in the new fan. Uh, and here again, we painted the walls, new flooring, new trim. Master bathroom redone. All new vanities. In trailers, they usually have venting coming up underneath the vanity. Since they went to a smaller vanity, you're going to see that. So we put those on top. Brand new shower stuff again. This is a master bedroom with that, I've got that funny color in here, I can't quite remember what it was. Here's this closet's been redone. Doors have all been done. Now it's just been freshened up a little bit, not much.
you found in here as well. And these were what needs to go back. New shelving inside the closet.